So what is the difference between a feeling and an emotion? Um, I, I've put this in previous videos, um, but I, I just noticed that a lot of people um, in the world of coaching, uh, I would say even in the world of therapy, um, helping friends, things like that, really get things kind of mixed up, okay? And I admit I used to as well, okay? So there's a few important things that you, that you need to understand. We may have the tendency to really um, focus predominantly on our thoughts um, and, and our emotions, but we don't have it organized. And we're, we're biological entities. You know, our thoughts and emotions are much more than we think it is. It's, it's actually a biology. You know, there is a brain process going on and, and release of hormones and releases of signals from the brain into our body, you know. And, and it's important to understand that. So, so, so what is a, an emotion then? Well, an emotion is triggered by something in the brain and causes a biological response in, inside of us. So, it, it, for instance, uh, the signal of, of a pain somewhere in the body, or it may cause a physiological response of you breathing very fast or holding your breath. There is a chemical release of hormones inside the body. So that's an emotion. Um, it represents it somehow in the body. You could measure it even through heart rate, or you could measure it through vagal tone. That's the nerve that sits at the base of the skull that connects the brain to the heart. It's the love nerve. You can um, blood test it, breathing analysis, all those different things. So you, you, that's a chemical response inside the body, and that's an emotion. Okay. We experience that emotion inside our brain, and then what happens is we then interpret it. Yeah, so the emotion is first, and, that, and then it's our thinking about that emotion that determines how, and what we're, how we're going to perceive this and what we're going to do with it. Yeah. And so our thought then turns that into an interpretation, and the interpretation is the feeling. Okay? So an emotion is a chemical response. The thought then comes with it, and then it turns into a feeling. It's very simplistic what I explain right now, but you got to get this right, you know, because there, an emotion can cause a fight, flight, or freeze, can cause an anxiety, can cause a stress, um, but also an emotion can cause positive emotions, a positive release inside the body. You know, what happens when you exercise, for instance? And so that emotion leads to a thought, and that emotion, that thought then leads to uh, the interpretation, which is a feeling. And, and, you know, so those are things, and that they're true both in a positive and negative way. So I think as a coach, as an NLP coach, or any kind of coach, or a helper, or just when you are into personal development, you really need to understand that we are biological beings. And we're, in essence, biological beings that are actually designed to default to the negative because we need to protect ourselves, we need to save ourselves, we need to uh, uh, survive, we need to adapt. So we are actually defaulting to the negative. And, and you can tell when someone really has done work on themselves when they start defaulting to the positive, to be non-judgmental, to experience positive emotions, uh, to have mastery and therefore get flow and positive relationships meaning and purpose, achievement and accomplishment. You know? so, so those are all real uh, things. And so that's the difference between feeling and an emotion.